Hello and welcome to another video brought to you by FlipWebsites.com. This will be an overview of one of the most important tools a website flipper should have in their arsenal, and that's the Yahoo Site Explorer tool. What this tool will allow you to do, and it's a free tool by the way, is it'll give you an idea of how many backlinks a website has and what kind of backlinks it has. But before we go over how to use the tool, let's talk about uh, backlinks for a second and why it's important to know the backlink history for a website that you might be considering buying. The number of backlinks to a website is referred to as link popularity. The more popular you are, the better your website will do in the rankings. While both quantity and quality of backlinks plays a role, quality is the most important. The quality of backlinks is often determined by relevance and authority. And you want as many backlinks from relevant, authoritative websites as you can possibly get. Now, let me demonstrate the difference between just a regular backlink uh, to satisfy the quantity equation of link popularity and then, the, and then showing you getting a backlink from a highly relevant, highly authoritative website. Let's say I have a, a website promoting camcorders. Now, if there's a blog out there, let's say some guy has a, a blog about dogs. And he just happens to mention he picked up a camcorder that he read about on you know my website and he provides a backlink to it. You know that's not a very relevant website because it's a pet website. Um, and his website again, if it's just a some guy's blog, chances are it's it's not a very authoritative website. So that would be just a kind of a, a backlink that would satisfy the quantity equation of link popularity. Now the quality example would be. I get a backlink from CNET Reviews, which is a well-established, highly authoritative website in the electronics niche. And it would be even better to get a backlinks or to get some backlinks from that site from, let's say, their camcorder reviews page. That would be highly relevant, coming from a highly authoritative website, and that would be an extremely quality backlink. So as a webmaster, you not only just want to get as many backlinks as you can, but you also want to focus on getting quality backlinks. And the best tool to use to investigate the backlink history of a website is the Yahoo Site Explorer tool. Now when you buy a website, most likely the seller will highlight how many backlinks the site has, but the seller usually isn't going to tell you if the backlinks are quality links or not. And regardless of what the seller does or doesn't claim, you want to be able to verify the backlinks yourself. And the, this tool that I'm going to show you here is going to allow you to do that, so let's go check it out. So here we are at the Yahoo Site Explorer tool, and it's siteexplorer.search.yahoo.com. And all you're going to do is enter the domain name of the website you're looking to purchase, and you're going to be investigating both the www version and the non-www version. So let's just type that in here, and for uh, demonstration purposes, I'm going to use my website, which is flipwebsites.com, and you're going to click on the Explore URL button, and you'll see this In Links tab. So what you're going to do is go ahead and click on that. Now, Yahoo calls them In Links, um, but it's the same as Backlinks, and you're going to come over here. It says Show In Links. You're going to change this to Accept from this domain, and what that means is Show Me Backlinks except from this domain here. In other words, show me in links from other websites. And then you're going to leave this only this URL, which means this website here. Okay. And as you can see here, the number right now is 3,874. That means there are 3,874 links going to my homepage. Now that satisfies the quantity equation of link popularity. Now I know that this site has, you know, a quite a few, you know, a fair amount of, of backlinks. Now to investigate the quality part of the backlink history, all I have to do is scroll down here through all the results and it shows all 3,874 backlinks. Now if I want, I can click through to each one of these websites to find where the backlink is actually coming from. Um, and then this will give me some sense of relevancy and, and give me some sense of the quality or the authoritativeness of the website. But instead of, you know, clicking through to all of those, you know, in most cases, you're going to be able to just quickly look through and you'll be able to quickly ascertain just by looking at the names of the websites um, and, or the pages 
is you'll be able to tell if they're relevant or not to the you know to the niche of of the website you're looking to purchase. And so you can go through and you can just quickly get a, a just a sense of you know if if there's a lot of quality here or if if most of the backlinks are just you know quantity backlinks and not quality. And if you scroll to the bottom here, you can click through even more results until you get through all 3,874. Now, the other thing you're going to do while you're here is you're going to come up in here and you're going to change this to the entire site. Now, what this is going to show me is all the backlinks going to not only the home page, but to all the internal pages of the website as well. So we'll go ahead and change that. Now the number jumped to 3,967, so it bumped up a little bit. So the total backlinks to this website, both the home page and all the internal pages, is just under 4,000. And you know that may or may not be good depending on you know how old the website is, and again, uh, you know checking the quality of the links and, and all those kinds of things. But at least this way you can confirm you know, what kind of backlink history a website has, regardless of what the seller tells you. And you can find out yourself, um, you know, what's going on in terms of quantity and quality of backlinks. Now, the other thing you're going to do is, again, as I mentioned before, is you're going to change this up here to the non-WWW version because you want to see what's going on there, too. So let's go ahead and do that. And now the number of backlinks falls dramatically. In fact, there's only 10 now. And that's actually a good thing. And I'm not going to go into that in this video because that's beyond the scope of this video. That has to do with canonical URLs and your preferred URL uh, with the search engines. And it just that's like an entire other video. But suffice to say, when you're doing this, you don't want to see a lot of links going to both versions. Okay. It, this, what you're seeing here is perfect. You would want to see. In this case, just under 4,000 backlinks going to the WWW version, and you'd want next to none going to the non-WWW version, okay? And that's what we see here, so that's good. Now, I the red flag would be is if I did this search, and all of a sudden I see another you know, 3,000 backlinks going to the, to the non-WWW version. And again, I'm not going to go into why that is, and, and perhaps I'll make another video about that, but... All I'm going to say is that you, the reason why you want to check both versions is you just want to make sure that the bulk of the backlinks is going to one version or the other and not both. So there you have it. Before you buy any website, be sure to take advantage of this tool as it's going to give you an idea of, again, of how many backlinks and what kind of backlinks a website has. To see what other tools website flippers should use and other due diligence steps website buyers should take, please visit flipwebsites.com.